far down the depth of thousand years and marks the revolution. Her dusty face is lit with sober light. Hey guys, Dragon here with another uh, card move, a crazy card move that you guys will no doubt um, like to do. Uh, so make sure to like this video. Fuck, I'm doing that thing that they do. God, God damn it. Uh, just, just fuck it. Uh, here's the, here's the thing. Um, so we're gonna use this deck of uh, fairly expensive national cards. Fa fairly expensive nationals cards. Uh, to show you the way this uh, spread control looks. So over here, we're gonna have a, a card spread and selected. In this case, is gonna be the uh, three of hearts. That card is, of course, subsequently lost in the middle of the deck, lost forevermore, not on top, not on bottom. And of course, anytime you want by just giving the deck a little bit of a little bit of a shake. Guess what? We get the card on top. Oh boy, oh boy, this is some hotness. Um, I mean, that's the that's the. Good. Oh, hey, hey there. So you want to learn the mechanics of this uh, uh, spread spread technique. Now I know I go over this in a little bit of detail in one of my earlier videos uh, in that a force. So I do this as a little bit of a hot force in that video. Uh, I don't know where to click, but uh, you, you look for that appropriate thing, uh, which I'm probably going to forget to put anyways. Uh, and it's, it's going to be a, a technique to allow you to control and spread a card. This is just a couple touches on that technique. Now this was kind of my attempt to uh, not have to learn the convincing control, which is a very difficult move. However, in doing this, I later found out that um, it's obviously not um, my move, uh, as happens with everyone in Magic. They think they innovate, and then they're like, hey, guess what? Jeff McBride did that. Oh, Jeff McBride did that? Oh, guess what? Di Vernon did that. Oh, Di Vernon did that? Guess what? Jesus Christ did that. Oh, damn. Jesus Christ did that? Uh, yeah, it turns out Dynamo did it before he did. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's the thing with this technique. So pretty much uh, just to sum up the actual mechanics of this, you're going to spread the deck and have the spectator touch any card they want. Let's say they touch this one right over here. What's going to happen is that as I lift this up towards them, you notice that my finger right here, my forefinger is pressed against the third card from the face of the deck. So I have a little bit of a loose grip on the first two cards. However, my forefinger here is having a vice-like grip on this third card to make sure that that card doesn't go anywhere. If you wanna make the mechanics of this move slightly easier, what I suggest you do is that as the spectator's touching the card, let's say they touch this or whatever here, you score it up lightly with the card above it. You don't need to score it up directly with the card above it, but as long as it's reasonably square, uh, then that's fine. This is perfect. You don't need you don't need it to be pristine. Like you don't need a, a, a precise square in order for this to work. As long as it's somewhat reasonably squared up like this, that would work fine. But notice my forefinger is putting some hot pressure on that uh, that six of spades. Like you put pressure on Sally uh, to dance with you in the fifth grade winter formal, and then she didn't dance with you because you smelled like cheap perfume that your mom sprayed on you. So here you're putting pressure on that six of spades. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna tell the spectator to look at the card and instead of just dropping the single six of clubs onto the deck, you're gonna drop both cards. So your thumb is gonna come and it's gonna contact the back of the second card. Now you're gonna do this obviously if the larger motion is gonna cover the smaller motion. You don't wanna make this a overt action, but you just wanna make it enough so that you are putting both cards as opposed to just that uh, eight of clubs. Sorry, I've been calling it the six of clubs this entire time. I'm a fucking idiot. Sorry, um, it just comes out sometimes. Uh, so one more time, the uh, mechanics of this so far, you had the card spread, the spectator touches any card they want. Let's say they touch this one, you lightly score it up with the top card. Remember that you're putting pressure on the third card. So you lightly score it up. You say, oh, right here, remember that card, so don't forget it. And then you're gonna use your thumb to come in contact with the back of the second card as you release pressure. And that card is gonna be the one that's gonna get left in the left hand over here. So now 
guess what? You have an X card on top of the Ace of Hearts. And this card is overexposed to shit. Peter McKinnon would have a, a hissy fit if he would see the quality on this video. Casey Nightstand would have a bitch fit if he would see the, the lack of quality control on this channel. Um, who's another uh, vlogger? Fuck! I don't know my vlogger game. But you have an X card on top of the uh, card that they picked. So now guess what you could do? You could do anything with this card. I personally like to stick it somewhere in the middle of this half over here. You see that? And then I use my pinky to pull down half of this deck as I slam that in there, or you could just use your thumb to lift up and put some cards in here, which brings, guess what? The ace of hearts to the top of the deck, and now you're, you're good to go. You could do a double lift to show that their card is not on top. You could show that the card is not on the bottom, and you can go from wherever you want. You could find the card inside of your pocket. You could find the card inside of, uh, inside of a, uh, a winter's coat across the room. Um, I don't know how to do that yet, but you could do a lot of things with this control. Uh, I'll do it one more time in slow, central European uh, slow motion, just for you guys over there, because you guys need all the uh, extra tidbits here, because, you know, obviously you guys don't understand things the first time they're told to you, so we're going to have to improvise. Uh, so he here it is. Hey, production value, man. If you're not subscribed because of that, you're really um, missing out on a lot of things. Uh, so that's the that's the technique, guys. Uh, make sure to watch it again if you uh, failed any sort of understanding. It's not hard to do. It's, uh, it's a very easy technique to do. So you guys learned that. You guys treat it well, and it will treat you well in many fruitful years of not knowing what a vagina is. Do you see this? Did you see this shit? These cards are just in the middle, just like this. I've shuffled this deck nonstop, and these cards are in the middle, just like that. The king, the queen, the jack of spades, and the ace of spades. Holy shit, man! I would have, I would have come across some of that, that those sweet, sweet gains had I up. Uh, actually, no, I wouldn't have gotten shit because the uh, ten of spades was. I need a uh, man. I'm just a. You know, I know she was a small town girl. Uh, I think she was living in a lonely world. I think. I think she took the midnight train. Uh, I don't know where it was going. I'm pretty sure it was going anywhere. You know, one of those things. I know he was a city boy, though. He was a city boy for sure. He was definitely a city boy. I think he was from South Detroit. Damn, what a shame. That's a bad area. Fuck.